Ben Wells with North Group Real Estate, and I appreciate you signing on to my website and clicking on the link about selling your home. What I'd like to do very quickly is just go over um, kind of a blueprint as to how to go about selling your home. Uh, obviously, uh, if you have questions, please feel free to call me or text me at 864 430 2451, and I can go into a lot more detail on the whole selling uh, aspect and what to expect. So uh, first things first is the Greenville market is definitely different than every other market. However, um, we have very sim we have similarities in other markets as well. Uh, so, but as far as selling is concerned, um, the biggest thing that you need to be thinking about is your price. I know you hear this all the time. Okay. I get it. Price is price that I, I, I get it. Um, however, it is very important to price your home correctly. And how do we do that exactly? Well, there's a few things that we need to do. Uh, some of the things that we need to do is one is we need to look and see and what the, what are the norms, uh, in your neighborhood or what are the norms in the area that you live in? So if you don't have an HOA in a subdivision, then Within about a five mile radius, what are most people doing? What I what do I mean by what are most people doing? What I mean by this is, you know, what kind of upgrades, what kind of finishes, what kind of things are they doing to their home that you may need to do um, to get the most bang for your buck and get the most money from the sale of your home so you can net that in your pocket, which is what we're all trying to do, right? Um, I know that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to net you as much money as I can in your pocket. Um, cause I want you to be happy at the end of the day and help you with your goal of moving from where you're at now to wherever you're going in the future. Uh, but one of that's one of the big things is, is comparing what are the houses around you doing? So again, that's one thing to be thinking about. Uh, the other thing to be thinking about is, um, you know, other things such as, and I have a sidebar for this, by the way, and I'm kind of looking at some of my notes here is, Things such as your entryway, what does it look like? Um, your landscaping, your lighting. Uh, we already talked about upgrades such as flooring and countertops and um, fixtures, for example. All those things add uh, add value to your home. A fence adds value to your home. Um, and so all these things can help you in getting the price that you want or at least are looking to or looking for. Uh, the other thing to be looking at is, and the biggest thing, and this is what I do best, is looking at comps. And I, what I try to do and what you need to do is be realistic about these comps. Um, comps are sold. So these are homes that were sold, beyond a doubt, sold. And the way that we calculate, I know I as an agent calculate, is by square footage. Um, and what the other homes are selling per square foot. So, you know, if you have five homes um, and the average square foot sold price is $145 a square foot, then that's probably what you're looking at for a sales price for your home because that is what a buyer is willing to pay, um, which is usually where we want to start listing your house at. Um, and why is that? Why would we not want to go $20,000 over the, um, the other houses? Uh, why would we not want to do that? Well, here's a couple of insights from buyers, and I've worked with a ton of them, um, along with sellers, but this is something that you have to do as a seller is look at things from the buyer's perspective. I know that's, that's difficult because it's your home. It's where you've had memories and things like that. But from a buyer's perspective, this is very important. If you overprice your home and it is priced way higher than the other homes in your particular neighborhood, what that buyer sees first is what? The price. That's right, the price. They don't see the stuff on the inside, the price. And even when they do see the, the, the items, items and all the stuff you've done for the house, they still see the price. And so what do they do? Their minds go to, why should I buy this house? In other words, they start thinking about why they shouldn't buy, why they should not buy your house versus why they should buy your house. And the thing is, the first two weeks on the the first two weeks that you put your home up for sale is the most prime time to get the offer, or let me rephrase that, to get the, to maximize your profit. 
period. Uh, because what will happen later is 30 days later that your home hasn't been on the market uh, or it's been on the market and nothing's happening, people are starting to think the other thing. What's wrong with this? What's wrong with this house? Why is it not selling? Is there something wrong with it? So there's a lot of things that kind of go, there's a lot of factors that go into that. And that is something you have to think of as a seller. You have to get out of the seller mind frame and into the buyer mind frame. If you don't, your house might just be sitting there. And it's very, so it's very important that we price your home right. Because when we price your home right, this wonderful thing happens. Buyers look at your home and they try to find a reason to buy your home. And within the first two weeks, guess what they're thinking? This home has not been on the market long. Oh gosh, we got to hurry up and we got to get this house. So let's, let's, let's give them what they're asking for, or let's give them $10,000 more and be willing to pay the difference between, uh, the, the, the sales price and the appraisal price in case it comes in short. That's what we're looking for. We are looking to get you the most money for your home. That's what I'm trying to do. And so the only way to do that is to price your home right. So you can kind of see why it's so important to price your home, right? Um, so again, uh, pricing is very important, but what goes into pricing are a lot of other factors. And unfortunately, that's something I can't do for you without seeing your home. However, if you would like some more information, I can please give me a call um, or send me an email, but preferably give me a call or shoot me a text if you'd like to talk more about um, selling your home and what you may need to do uh, to improve your home to increase value so that we can net more for your home. Please give me a call at 864-430-2451 and I'd be more than happy to help you um, help guide you through the process. Again, I hope this is a good snapshot of what um, what to expect and you know kind of things to be thinking about when you're selling your home. Again, come with any questions. If you find this video helpful, please share with your friends and family and coworkers. Uh, I would love to help them as well. All right, thank you so much for your time. Bye-bye.